Hi guys, this is your host Jatin. Welcome to New Wave Coaching Classes for Mathematics. Today we are going to discuss about the different methods to solve the pair of linear equation in two variables. Till now, what we have discussed, we have discussed about how to form the equations out of the statement questions, how to represent those equations on the graph, how to find the solutions using the graphs, and also how to find the consistency of the equations and the consistency can be uh, the solution can be consistent also or inconsistent also and when we talk about consistent solution the line which comes on the graph can be intersecting or the coincident lines and in case of inconsistent the lines are parallel lines now we go to the second type of the method that is called as algebraic method of solving the pair of linear equation in two variables so when you talk about the algebraic method of the pair of equations in two variables we have three kinds of methods substitution elimination and cross multiplication method right so we are not going to discuss all the three uh, today we are going to discuss only one method that is the substitution method the rest of the methods we will be discussing in the subsequent lectures so let's discuss let's start with the substitution method now when we talk about substitution it means basically changing the variable or putting the value of one variable from one equation in the form of the other variable how let's see i've just taken an example i have two equation 7x minus 15y equals to 2 and the second equation which i have taken is x plus 2y equals to 3 now it is your choice from which equation you want to transform to find the value of one variable so what i have done i have taken the second equation now from here what I do, I find the value of x in terms of y. I find the value of x in terms of y. I just shift this 2y on the right side. I get x equals to 3 minus 2y, which gives me a third equation, right? Now, what I do, I substitute the value of x from here in the first equation. Why not in the second equation? Because I have found this thing from the second equation. So, I can substitute this value in this second equation, right? So, I will have to substitute in the other equation, right? So, after substituting, what we get, let's see. Now, it is 7x minus 15y. So, wherever it is written x, there I will put 3 minus 2y. So, 7 into 3 minus 2y minus 15y equals to 2. Now what is what we have to do? It, it becomes basically a linear equation in one variable and it's very easy to simplify. So what do we do? We just multiply it out. So this is 21 minus 29y equals to 2. I shift this 21 on the right side. What I get? Minus 29y is equal to 2 minus 21. So I have minus 29y equals to minus 19. So I can cancel out the negative on the both sides, which gives me y equals to 19 by 29. So this is the value of y. Now I have to find the value of x. I have the choice. I can substitute the value of y in any of these three equations. It's my choice. But since the third equation was in the form of x, so I can substitute the value there. So therefore, x equals to 3 minus 2 into 19 by 29. See, whenever you are doing these cal simplif uh, calculations, do it very carefully because there are more chances of getting uh, doing something wrong in the questions. So here, this is 3 minus. Don't subtract. Use the uh, idea of board mass. Well, first, we will do multiplication. So 2 into 19 is 38 upon 29. Now, the next step is to take the LCM because it is 1 here. So now the LCM would be here 29. So next step is to divide the LCM by the denominator here. The denominator is 1. So 29 by 1 will be 29 and into 3 it will be 87 and on the other side we have 38. Now we subtract these two. When we subtract these two we get it as 49 by 29. So this is the answer. We get x equals to 49 by 29 and we get y equals to 19 by 
29. So this is the way we do uh, the method of substitution, right? To find the solutions of the pair of linear equations. Now what we will do? We will do some questions from the exercise, exercise 3.3. Today we will be only taking, uh, I will be only taking the first question which have the 8 marks right? and in the next lecture we will be discussing uh, the statement question of this exercise. Ah. I start the first question, second part, first part is quite easy so you can try it yourself. So the equation is given as, two, two equations which are given to me is s minus t equals to 3 and the second is s by 3 plus t by 2 equals to 6. So these are the two equations which are given to me. Now what I have to do basically, if you see this equation, you can either take the LCM and then write in the simple form to, for, uh, to uh, basically it will be look, it will be looking a simple equation. Otherwise it seems to be complicated because the numbers are given in the fraction. So it's your choice. You can take the LCM also and write it out, right? So if you take the LCM and write it out, this equation transforms into 2s plus 3t equals to 36 after taking the LCM. So I can uh, just take this one as the second equation. Now the question is to substitute the value. So I take the first equation from 1, it is s minus t equal to 3. So I take s equals to 3 plus 3. I substitute the value of s from the equation 3 in the second equation. So I write from 3 put the value of s in 2. So I, when I put the value, this is 2 into 3 plus t equals to, sorry, plus 3t equals to 36. So if you see, it becomes a linear equation one variable, very easy to simplify. So this is 6 plus 2t plus 3t equals to 36. Simplify, you, check, you can shift 6 on the other side. So this is 2t plus 3t becomes 5t equals to 30. So therefore t is equal to 6. Now I have got the value of t, I have to find the value of s. So I can put the value of uh, t here in the third equation, therefore s equals to 3 plus 3, that is 3 plus 6 equals to 9. So these are the solutions s equal to 6, sorry, x equal to 9 and t equals to 6. Now let's take the third part. This is the first equation. And the second equation is 9x minus 3y equals to 9. Right, this is the second equation. Now from the first equation, I write I write 3x minus y from 1, 3x minus y equal to 3, or I shift 3 this side, y this side, therefore, or 3x minus 3 equals to y. So what I have done here, I have written the value of y in terms of x. So I will substitute this value in the second equation. So substituting the value of y in equation 2. So when I put the value so wherever it is written x, sorry, wherever it is written y, I have to put its value. Now y, y will not be written, but its value will be written. So I write 3x minus 3 equals to 9. When I multiply, this is 9x minus 9x plus 9 equals to 9. And you see what happened here. There is no variable here. And this is true. This is true in all cases. This is true. Nine equal to nine. It is true. Now the question: Why we have not got the solution? The reason, because if you compare the ratios of the coefficients, 
you see the ratios will be equal that is a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 and in that case we get infinite many solution so if you get this kind of thing at the end of solving it means the two equations will have infinite many solution so just write the two equations have infinite many solutions now let's take the fourth part of this exercise part of the first question Now the fourth part is given as 0.2x plus 0.3y equals to 1.3. This is the first equation, and this is 0.4x plus 0.5y equals to 2.3. This is your second equation, right? Now you must be thinking it's a decimal, and uh, whenever the students see decimal. Uh, it seems that the, that the things it's very difficult, but it's not like that. You can do it very uh, easily. What you have to do, your first step, since all the things are having the decimal, you can multiply the whole equation by ten. So if I multiply multiply equation one and two by ten. So what we can do then in that case, when I multiply this by ten, I get two x. Plus three y equal to thirteen. I write this as one, and four x plus five y equal to twenty three. And I write this as two. Now, what you can do? You can simplify these two equations using the substitution method. I will not be doing. You just do this question yourself. Right? It's very easy. You can you can take any of the equation and uh, simplify it. Right? Let's go to the next question now. The fifth part. This is root two x plus root three y equals to zero. This is the first equation, and then it is given root three x minus root eight y equal to zero. So now, what we can do? We can take any of the equations. So what I do? I take the first equation from one. I write two root two x is equal to minus root three y, or x equals to minus root three by root two upon y. All the question is not very difficult. It's very simple uh, question. If you will, when you will see the answer, you will come to know about it only. And then I will tell you the trick of uh, finding the solutions if constant terms are zero. Right? That is that is a trick also. You can directly also write if the if the question comes in some uh, you can say objective type question come in the exam and the equations are of the form of this. Then you can directly write the solution for this also. Right? So now uh, what we do we just substitute the value. Uh, I write this as three. Now. From three, put the value of x in equation. Since I have formed from two, I will put in two. The equation was formed from the first one, so I am substituting in the two. So this is root three into minus three uh, minus root three upon root two. Y minus a root eight into y equals to zero, right? So when I multiply, I get root three into root three becomes root three square, and that is three. So this is minus three upon root two minus root eight y equals to zero. Now what is the next step? Since there is one fraction and the one number, so we have to take the LCM. So when I take the LCM, this is Uh, the LCM would be root two, so this is three y minus. 
when you multiply root 2 by root 8 root 2 into root 8 becomes root 16 and we all know 16 is a perfect square so it will be 4 so I just write minus 4y equals to 0 and uh, simplifying this I get minus 7y upon root 2 equals to 0 or minus 7y equals to 0 y equals to 0 right so when I substitute the value of this y in the first I get this means x equal to 0 so this is a very uh, you can say uh, a solution which is a defined solution for the, for the two equations when the constant terms are 0 if in any if any pair of equation the constant terms are 0 then obviously the answer would be always this x and y both will be equal to 0 so then let's go to the last part of the equation of this question So this is given as 3x upon 2 minus 5y by 3 equals to minus 2 and the second equation is x by 3 plus y by 2 equals to 13 by 6. So now both the equations in both the equations the coefficients and the constant terms are given the fraction. So the first step would be to uh, remove the fraction and uh, we'll take the LCM of the equation and form in the in a very easy way. So this is the first one, this is the second one. So I transform 1, I write 1, this is 3x upon 2 minus 5y by 3. I take the LCM of this one, the LCM would be 6. This is 9x minus 10y equals to minus 2. Therefore 9x minus 10y equals to minus 12 this is my third equation and from here I can transform it x by 3 plus y by 2 equals to 13 by 6 I take the LCM LCM is 6 so this is 2x plus 3y equal to 13 by 6 the 6 cancels so I get it as 2x plus 3y equals to 13 this is my fourth equation Right, so now what we have to do, we have to simplify the third and fourth equation by substituting the value. So what I do, I take the third equation from 3, what I get, 9x minus 10y equal to minus 12 so I write 9x equals to 10y minus 12 or x will be equal to 10y minus 12 upon 9 right and then I substitute the value of x in equation 4 so this is my equation 4, I substitute the value, I write 2 into 10y minus 12 upon 9 plus 3y equals to 30. See, using brackets is very important when we are substituting the values, right? So now uh, we take the LCM, this is 20y minus 24 upon 9 plus 3y First step what we have done, we have multiplied the number uh, inside. Now we take the LCM, we take the LCM, LCM is 9, this is 20y minus 24 plus 27y equals to 30. So now we add these two, this is 47y minus 24 equals to and 39 is 117. Therefore 47y is equal to 117 plus 24 and we get it as 47y equals to 141 therefore y will be equal to 
3, right? So we substitute the value of y in uh, for dx. So therefore, x equals to 10 into 3 minus 12 upon 9. So this is 30 minus 12 by 9. So this is 18 by 9. So what I get? x equals to 2. Right, dear friends? So this was all about the substitution method. And we have completely solved the first question of exercise 3.2. The remaining questions are statement questions which will be taking in the subsequent uh, lectures. So this is all from my side. Uh, hope you have uh, understood everything. If not, try to watch the video again. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. This is your host signing off. Goodbye and take care.